Since many of you were curious about how I make my videos, I decided to make a series to show you how you can edit like me, inspired by your favorite YouTubers. Welcome to the first episode. In today's video, I will break down this scene. Make sure to keep watching to get the best results. Alright, open up your effects, prepare your composition. For me, I'll keep it on 1080p. Create a solid layer, then add an S gradient. If you don't have Sapphire plugin, you can choose gradient trim instead. The colors have to be kinda similar, so pick a color and change the brightness or the saturation of the second one. Now, change the position of the colors. If you're about to make a vertical slide, you have to set the position like this, and vice versa. Now create another solid layer at a grid and copy my settings. You can change the opacity, on me I'll decrease it to 30%. The background already looks good, but we can make it better. Create an adjustment layer, add deep glow and play with the settings. Now let's add some flavors, create another adjustment layer and add turbo on this place. Set the amount to 5 and the size to 50, press alt and click the evolution clock. Add wiggle expression, let's make it like 8 1000. Great, now duplicate the turbo on this place twice and copy my settings. Let's make it laggy by adding posterize sign effect. Here's the final result. Perfect, now let's move on to the profile picture with the audio spectrum. But before this let me introduce you our video sponsor, Hitpa, the best video converter. This awesome software provides endless features from video conversion to large files compression. Convert videos 120 times faster without quality loss. Hitpa supports over 1000 formats from MP4 to MKV. You can also try the new feature video to GIF to get creative with your content. Save space without compromise because the HitPal compresses videos and images without sacrificing quality. What are you waiting for? Get extra 20% off coupon. I'll leave the link in the description. Import your photo, draw a circle mask. Set the anchor point in the middle. To do this, press Ctrl plus double click the pan behind too. Now reset the position. To make a stroke, you have to add rough and edges effect to your photo. Set the border to 40 and the fractal influence to 0. Cool, let's create a solid layer. Copy the mask from your photo and paste it in the solid layer. Add audio spectrum effect. Change the audio layer from solid to your music and from the source to mask. Same thing with the path. Here are my settings. Let's add some glow. Create an adjustment layer and add BCC fast film glow. Here's the final result. That's it for today. Like and subscribe for more episodes.